<coughs> there he is, player one, having lost again. Game over, and good luck reaching back to the gamer's attic. <laughs> what have you done to me? Ugh. I can't see. Where am I? Welcome, player one. Old school Al. Good to see you again. What are you doing here? We're in the warp zone. The warp zone? Yep. This is where we keep all the old school goodies. Amazing. So players, you're in for a treat. We're in the warp zone. Hey guys, welcome to the warp zone. I am your host, player one. And here standing with me is Old School Owl. Well, How you so doing today, Old School Owl? Excellent, excellent. I like your, your mask, your motif. That's right, baby. You got it going on. And today, we are doing a special presentation for you on our G.I. Joe action figures for this Memorial Day special edition of our show. Old School Owl. What's up? What can you tell us about all these oh, awesome man. toys, this man? G.I. Joe. This um, you're I'm pumped. I'm so mega pumped here coming looking out. at everything. Yeah, this is up my alley. This is right the time when I was a kid. Let's start off. Uh, we didn't include this one in our lunchbox special, but we got the old school G.I. Joe plastic edition lunchbox and uh, another thermos from a different round because G.I. Joe went on for a long time. So That's right. Yeah, a long, long time. The day, this is a little bit older stuff. The Future Force 2000, Battle Force 2000. We've got uh, an old devil fish, an old... Uh, little PT boat or something like that and with that being said I wanted to share with you the little weapons gear accessory kit that we have that is wow. used to uh, outfit the weapons when you're missing you know weapons are, are these stuff. the ones that sergeant slaughter used to some of them destroy also? yes mr. slaughter uses these missiles too okay he's got that also in the triple T look at that guys all mm. right so we've got some action figures here which I'll talk about in a minute but let's just keep going with the ships one of our personal favorites, the Cobra Fang gyrocopter. Pretty cool stuff. Cobra Pretty Fang! Special. Get this out of your way. Woohoo! Yeah, man. Cobra Fang was cool. That was like my favorite ship growing up. So then we've got a Frostbite over here on card. One of the newer ones. This is around the time of these Battle Corps dudes. We'll okay. talk about that shortly. How about we get into these action figures? These are some ooh, of our ooh. favorites. I know we talked about yeah. how much you like the Rattler pilot. That's Wild Weasel. Wild Weasel? Yeah, he drove the Cobra Rattler. And we got Cover Girl. I think she drove one of those. Uh, oh, that was a Wolverine or something. One of those tank ships that Cover the Joes Girl, had. like one of the Cover Girls. No, no. Cover Girl, the GI Joe's code name. Oh, oh code name. Cool. So then we've got Gung Ho in his Marine uh, dress, blue uniform. Can you see there, there, Snake Eyes? You all right? All right. We've hmm. got that too. This is the Strato Viper. Oh, we got a Strato Viper. Hmm. Yeah, Strato Viper. Now, Strato if you guys Viper. see this, take a look at what the Strato Viper. This is the dude has. that drives that. I don't want. I got the bottom tape because it opens up. Of and course. That's, the, that's uh, the ship that the Strato Viper goes to. I know you like these crazy, crazy bald Cobra guys. Kind of reminds you of uh, something there, Doctor Mindbender. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Doctor Mindbender. We got one of the evil twins. Look at that one. That one's in a real good shape. Look, you can see the emblem on his chest really clearly. Yeah, exactly. This is great. And we got our boy Zartan, one of your favorites, the Master of the Skies. Zartan. Yeah, let's keep going with the Joes first. The, the Cobras for a second. This is the moccasin driver. Drove that little uh, boat. Swamp rat thing that the uh, cobras used to cook, you know, right up in the swamp, right? Right up in the swamp. And look at this, your favorite girlfriend. I know you had a crush on her. The battle, didn't we all? Didn't we all? Yeah, super mm. sexy girl with glasses. That's right. Then we've got my favorite of these Joes is the uh, cobra officer from back in the day. He's got his original gun with him. Original cobra officer. Yeah, Take a look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. nice. Let's uh, keep going with the original cool stuff. Uh, we've got some old comic book, vintage comic books from back in the day. G.I. Joe. Yeah, keeping going with the G.I. Joes. Excellent and we've got condition. The, no, yeah, that one's a really nice one. I like that one too. Take a look at this, guys. Okay. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But this is my favorite aspect of the collectibles. I'll get this out of your way, P1. Let me show you my favorite stuff. My favorite stuff is carded action figures. And this is a vintage uh, crystal ball. Another Cobra weirdo. Your Cobra Hypnotist. Hmm. Yeah, very, very cool. Is he like he's is he like Doctor Strange? Something like that. He's got similar powers. Cool. So anyhow, then uh, we were talking about the popularity and the long-lasting, uh, you know, 
length of GI Joes that they were uh, international. Let's see a, a quick kick, I think, from Argentina, from a different company called Plastilama, Plastilima, Plastilama. And this is a fun school, Storm Shadow V2. This is from India. They came out later, a little later, like in the 90s. But they're still vintage Joes, baby. From India? Yeah. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. So these are all legitimate Joes, but from Joes, different countries. Different countries. Yep. How about this? Last but not least, before we... Uh, move on to bigger and brighter pastures we've got this giant action figure case beautiful with some cool vintage artwork gi joe style they don't make them like this anymore they don't folks. make them like this before anymore oh yeah one more thing i think we talked about this briefly in the game section we got an old school gi joe board game where you get to be some of the action figure dudes and live the adventure oh joe oh you forgot one thing you forgot Yo, me joe. Forgot you? Oh, oh, how can I forget Snake Eyes? Snake one of my eyes. favorite characters. Right Me, yeah, you, P1. That's right, in the house. Senior Unlimited Lives. Yes, and uh, G.I. Joe also had a bunch of games, man. Remember the old school G.I. Joe games? With For the, the giant... Nintendo. How about the Atari 2600 that had that giant cobra that would shoot lasers out of his eyes? Oh, cool. You got to look into that one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they were. Mm -hmm. They were. Yeah. So what can you tell us about these Joes as far as value? As far as value, of course, uh, the carded ones are probably worth the most. But, uh, you know, boxed toys is, is also good. But uh, condition is key, guys. Always look for condition. Number one, like this is missing the flag points. I know you remember sending those flag points to get free and extra Joes. Right. So most people did that. When you buy box things, you got to look out for the uh, flag points being cut out. And just wear and tear, usage, you know. So Probably be complete I... also, excuse me. Instructions is something else I like to look for. The way I like to have it is, is boxed. With inserts, instructions, complete toy, all the missiles, all the gadgets and stuff. See see that? That? And many of us as kids, yeah. we probably cut these things out, not thinking we that to. one day it may be see? worth something. Like this guy, boy, I love it, man. He's got everything. He's got his landing gear, its missiles, the little bombs and everything. Stickers. The drone. Yeah, so this is the, you know, the way the... The condition that I like to have. I like to have it with all the bells and whistles, and if possible, uh, the box is, is is key. What do you think one of these goes for now in the market? At least a hundred bucks. You know, then what's going to hurt you is shipping and handling. Mm -hmm. This is a big toy, so shipping this in a box would, you know, you know, padding it and taking care of it with bubble wrap and everything wouldn't would would probably cost a lot. So you know, you're looking at like 140, 150 on the cheap end, complete okay. with all its things. I think. Really cool. Really yeah. cool. Thank you so much, yeah. Old School Al. Thank you for visiting the Warp Zone. Exactly, the Warp Zone. The only place where you can find awesome toys, comic books, video games, you name it, we have it here. So if you guys want to see anything else, just hit me up. Let us hit know. Old School Al up. And we'll let you, we'll put it back on our show. Yep. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day, guys. Take care. This episode is game over.